As animals move up the evolutionary ladder and develop frontal and binocular vision, which one is necessary for the other, disjunctive eye movements become possible. And then we can actually have a shot at getting an image on both foveas at the same time, hence the convergence and divergence mechanisms to do so. In some lower species, both eyes can be driven independently, although reflex eye movements remain conjugate. So conjugate eye movements are the opposite of disjunctive. They're always looking at the same thing. It's just they either move in the same direction or they move in opposite direction. If they move in the same direction, it's a conjugate eye movement and those are more accessible. And if they move in opposite direction, it's a, it's a disjunctive eye movement, hence vergence, whether it's convergence or divergence. Of the five types of eye movement systems, vergence is the most recent one in evolutionary terms. It's the one that develops last in humans as well.